Welcome, I'm Joshi, and in this playthrough of Marvel Champions, we have Hulk versus the Wrecking Crew in standard difficulty. Now, this is a multi villain scenario. We have our uh, main scheme up here, which will scheme out at six threat. Uh, it starts with none, uh, but at the, basically, for this uh, scenario, the main scheme says after step one of the villain phase, we place one threat on each side scheme and move the active counter, which is currently starts on Wrecker to the villain whose scheme has the most threat. If there's a tie, uh, the first player chooses, which is just me. Um, so yeah, so we have multiple villains. Um, as we eliminate each villain, we eliminate them and their scheme from the game. Uh, essentially, each villain has their own little uh, unique characteristics. Uh, all of them, when they scheme, they place threat on their own uh, side schemes. Uh, the Wrecker, when he attacks, he gets plus two to his attack if it's undefended. Uh, Thunderball, after Thunderball attacks, you deal one damage to each character you control. Pile Driver has Retaliate, and Bulldozer, uh, when he attacks, his attacks gain Overkill. So that will kill Ally, and then the rest of the damage goes on to us. Uh, they each have a side scheme, which uh, if it reaches uh, 10 or more threat, they all do unique things. For Wrecker's Day of Reckoning, uh, the force response is after threat is placed here. If there's 10 or more threat here, deal two damage to each friendly character and remove all but three threat from the scheme. Thunderball's Thunderstruck. Uh, after threat is placed here, if there's 10 or more threat here, stun each friendly character and remove all but three threat. Pile driver is piled on. After threat is placed here, if there's 10 or more, each player discards the upgrade or support they control with the highest cost and then remove until there's only three threat remaining. And clear the road for Bulldozer, which is after threat is placed here, if there's 10 or more, each player must discard the top 10 cards of their deck and then remove all but three from the scheme. So I've got them all with their individual health, Wrecker of 14, Thunderball with 13, Pile Drive 11, and Bulldozer with 12. And of course, Hulk over here, I've got him with the big uh, health dial, he's at 18. So let's draw up our hand and get going. So we have a Mockingbird, Agent Coulson, Homeland Intervention, Monica Chang, and Espionage. Uh, I think I'll hold on to Monica Chang and Homeland Intervention, and I'll discard these three for our mulligan and draw three more cards. We have a Genius, a Crushing Blow, another Homeland Intervention. Okay. So I'm going to spend three resources to put Monica Chang into play. After Monica Chang enters play, search your deck hand discard pile for a copy of the surveillance team support and put it into play and place one snoop counter on each surveillance uh, team you control. So we'll go find a surveillance team. There's one. And this gets three counters, but plus one because of Monica, so it's going to have four counters on it. Surveillance team is exhaust surveillance team and remove one snoop counter from it, remove one threat from a scheme. That's going to come in ready. We will use our experimental research to draw a card and discard a card. We've got boundless rage. We will hold on a boundless rage. Then we'll flip up into Hulk. We will swing for three on Thunderball, taking him down to 10. We will use boundless rage to do a crushing blow. You're going to spend physical resources to pay for this card. Uh, deal attack, deal damage to an enemy equal to your attack, which is three. We'll do another three on Thunderball. Taking him down to seven. We will use Monica Chang and the surveillance team to take two threat Thunderstruck. Taking that down to three. 
Monica gets one consequential damage. And then we will ready up. We'll draw a hand size of four. Got an Avengers Mansion, a Thunderclap, Unstoppable Force, and another Thunderclap. All right. So, villain phase. So, first of villain phase, we place threat on the main scheme, which is just one. But as we said at the start, after step one of the villain phase, place one threat on each side scheme. So, one goes on Day of Reckoning, one on Thunderstruck. One on pilot on, and one on clear the road. And then we move the active counter to the villain whose scheme has the most threat. Well, that's still going to be Wrecker. So he's got yep, seven. So he's going to attack, which Monica is going to defend. So he's going for two attack. If he's attacking, he gets plus two attack if the attack's undefended, but it has been defended by Monica. So two plus one from the boost icon. So three damage, Monica gets knocked out. Then we get our encounter card from Wrecker because he's the active villain. And it says, when revealed, the villain whose side scheme has the least threat attacks you. So that'll be Thunderball. Uh, we'll just let we'll just take this. So it's gonna be one plus three so four damage is coming in and after thunderball attacks you deal one damage each character control so that's going to be one damage plus another four taking us down to 13. okay we're just going to spend three resources Let's do a thunderclap uh, choose up to three enemies deal three damage to each of them Right, we'll throw three on Thunderball. Three on Pile Driver. And this is not an attack, so it doesn't get retaliate from Pile Driver. And three on Wrecker. We'll then swing for three on Thunderball, taking him down to one. Uh, we'll use our surveillance team to keep breakout under control. And we're ready up. Draw four cards. Here comes Mixie. He's paused there. All right, we've got surveillance team, limitless strength, energy, and limitless strength. Well, I think I know what we're going to be doing next turn. All right, so villain's turn. One threat on the main scheme. And one threat goes on all of these. Get out. Um, and then goes the villain of the most threat, which is going to be Wrecker again. So he's going to attack us. We're just going to take this, actually. Or should we? Yeah, we'll take it. Um, so it's going to come in for four, because if we're not defending, it gets plus two to the attack. Four. Red gets plus three for this activation unless you place two threat on his side scheme. Yep, so we will place two threat on his side scheme. Just gonna take that to 10. Which is gonna trigger its ability after the threat is placed here. If there's 10 or more threat here, deal two damage to each friendly character and then remove all but three threat. The Hulk takes two damage. And then he takes another four from Wrecker's attack, taking him down to seven. We get our encounter card. 
Uh, when your wrecker attacks you, then move the active villain counter to the villain whose side scheme has the least threat. All right, so we will defend this one. So he's coming in for antagonist for two, plus move the active counter to the villain whose side scheme has the least threat. So that was happening anyway. But we defend all that. And so Thunderstruck and, and sorry, Thunderball and Pile Driver have the least amount of threat. He will. We'll just stick it on pile driver. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to spend two resources to put another surveillance team into play. That's going to come in with three counters on it. We're going to flip down. We're going to use our experimental research to draw a card and discard a card. We got strength, limit the strength, and limit the strength. Right. We'll throw away the strength. We will use the advanced team, keep that under control. And that'll do it already up. We'll hold on to both of these. And draw three more cards. Heli Carrier, another surveillance team, and Ingenuity. Okay. So one threat goes on the main scheme, and then one on everything else. Right, and now we move the uh, active token to the villain with the most threat. So it's going to be bulldozer. And so he's going to scheme for one plus one. So two throw all up. Takes that to nine out of ten. Then we get our encounter card. Attach to bulldozer. So when forcing right when bulldozer attacks you, you must defend against bulldozer's attacks with an ally if you, you control if able. And force response after bulldozer attacks you, discard this card. It's given him plus two to his attack. Okay. We're going to recover four, taking this up to 11. Go up to Hulk. We're going to spend a little bit of strength to put in a heli carrier. So we exhaust alley carry and choose a player, reduce the resource cost next card that player plays this phase by one. Um, we're not going to need to worry about that. We're going to use our other little strength to put in another surveillance team. We're going to discard ingenuity because we're not going to play that. Okay, so we are going to take one off breakout. And we're going to take two off clear the road with our other surveillance teams. Then we're going to ready. Draw four cards, power in all of us. Unstoppable Force, Sky Destroyer, and Banner's Laboratory. Okay. Fill in phase, one threat goes on the main scheme, and then one on every other scheme. 
Devran goes up to five, up to seven, seven. And there we have eight. All right, then we move it to the villain with the most, which is still Bulldozer. So he's going to attack us for a base five because of his attached his attachment there. We don't have an ally, but we are going to defend with Hulk. It's going for five plus one, so six damage. We defend three of Hulk, so we're going to take three damage. Taking us down to eight. And then this gets discarded. Now encounter card. Full rush. Bulldozer attacks you. Discard the top card of your deck for each damage dealt by this attack. Bulldozer's attacking for three plus two, so five damage. We just got five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. We're going to spend two resources to ready Hulk. If you pay for this card using any physical resources, draw one card. We didn't. We used the Angie and uh, Mental. We're readying Hulk. We're flipping down. We're going to recover four. Then we're going to hold on to this and ready up. Draw up our hand size. Hulk smash. Homeland intervention. Suborbital leap. Another suborbital leap. All right. Threat goes on here. One threat on everything else. Uh, Bulldozer's still the, the most threat, so he's going to scheme for one, plus one, so two will go on here, which will trigger, so we move all but three, and we discard the top ten cards of our deck. So, one, two, Three, four, five, six. As our deck has run out, we only discard the six, but we will get an extra encounter card. All right, now encounter cards. So we get one here. The first one is discard one card at random from your hand. And if you're in hero form, take damage equal to that card's printed cost. If you're in alter ego form, place threat on Bulldozer's side scheme equal to the card's printed cost. So we are losing Homeland Intervention, which is worth zero. And reveal, choose the villain whose side scheme has the least threat, reveal the top card of his deck and top two cards if he's the only villain in play. So the least is going to be Wrecker. Reveal his top card. And reveal, choose to either discard an upgrade you control or place one threat on the active villain side scheme for each upgrade you control. If you're not controlling upgrades, this card gains surge. We do not control any upgrades, so. Get surge, we'll get another card. Attach to Wrecker. After Wrecker attacks, place one threat on the side scheme with the least threat. As a hero action, we can exhaust our hero to discard one card around from our hand and discard this card. This is giving Wrecker plus one attack. OK. 
Okay. We're going to use our experimental research, the draw a card and discard a card. Homeland intervention. You know what? Don't need that. Actually, yes, this will work. We'll actually throw away power on all of us and we'll keep Homeland Intervention. Flip up to Hulk. And we will use Helicarry to reduce the cost of Hulk Smash to two. And then we'll use our suborbital leaps to attack for 13, which is going to take out Wrecker. So if Wrecker defeated, his deck goes away. We are then going to do Homeland Intervention to exhaust these three shield cards. Uh, so exhaust three shield cards of control, choose a scheme, we're going to choose Thunderstruck, and remove two threat from the scheme for each card exhaust this way, so we get rid of six. We're ready up. Draw a hand size of four, got genius, power on all of us, Avengers Mansion, and Thunderclap. All right. So, we get one threat on Breakout, and then one threat on everything else. So Thunstruck's at three, Pilot's on at nine, Clear the Roads four, and the active marker, go to Pile Driver, as he has the most threat. The Pile Driver's going to attack us for two. We'll take it. Two plus disc discard a support you control. We'll lose one of the surveillance teams. And we take two damage from the attack. Then our encounter card. Attach the active villain side scheme. Threat cannot be removed from the, the attached scheme by thwarting. The villain, here action villain, corresponding to the attached side scheme, attacks you, then discard this card. That's an action we can do to get rid of this. I don't think we're going to worry too much about that, though. Okay. We're going to use our Heli Carrier to reduce Thunderclap by one and use Genius to pay for it. The Thunderclap, choose up the three uh, different enemies, deal three damage to each of them. Again, this is not an attack, so Pile Driver's Retaliate will not hit us, so we'll do three to Pile Driver. Take him down to five. Three to Bulldozer, taking him down to nine, and three to Thunderball, which is going to eliminate Thunderball. We are now going to flip down. We're going to recover four. And it's up to nine. And we'll use our last two surveillance teams. Take two threat off breakout. I'm going to hold on to. Baron all of us in Adventure Mansion, I'll hold on to them. Draw three more cards. Stoppable Force, Thunderclap, and Energy. We're ready up. All right. 
Villain phase, one threat goes on the main scheme, one threat on everyone else. This hits 10. So, uh, once the 10 or more threats here, discard the upgrade or support you control with the highest cost. So that's going to be our heli carrier. And then remove all but three threat from the scheme. Uh, then we'll move this to the most threat, which is going to be Bulldozer. Uh, so Bulldozer is going to scheme for one plus. Uh, if this boost, if this attack's undefed, this can upgrade your control. It's not attack, so it's just Bulldozer. Scheming for one, taking that up to six. Our encounter card. Bulldozer's helmet. So attached to Bulldozer, force response. After Bulldozer attacks you, discard one card from the top of your deck for each point of damage dealt by his attack. And as here, actually, we exhaust our hero and discard one card around with our hand to discard this card. It's giving him plus one attack. Okay. We will use our experimental research ability to draw a card, discard a card. Hmm. Okay. We actually going to throw a thunderclap. We're going to spend energy and the power on all of us, which is double the number of resources this generates from paying for a basic gray card, which is a vengeance mansion. To put that into play, we can exhaust the vengeance mansion, choose a player that player draws one card. We'll do that now, see if we get anything useful. We've got a limitless strength, um, but we're not going to worry too much about that. We're going to recover four. Taking this up to 13. I flip up to Hulk. We're going to use a strength to ready Hulk. If you pay for this card using any physical resources, draw one card, which we are because we're using strength, which is all physical resources. We draw a card. We've got another limit of strength. Ready Hulk. We will attack for three on Pile Driver. And get retailer for one. So we're down to 12, he's down to two, bulldozers on nine. Then our turns are we just scatter our cards. Drop our hand of four, ingenuity, mockingbird, Monica Chang, and Agent Colson. Right. One threat on breakout, one threat on everything else. Bulldozer is the active villain. He's going to come in and swing at us for at least four. We will defend this. Four plus nothing. So we only take one damage. And after Bulldozer attacks, you discard one card from the top of your deck for each point damage dealt this attack. So we lose one card. Just Moon Girl. Then our encounter card. Bull Rush. When revealed in hero form, Bulldozer attacks you. Discard the top card of your deck for each damage dealt by his attack. All right, so he's coming and swinging us for four. Plus, uh, boost. Move the active count to the villain whose side scheme has the least threat. If you're in hero form, that villain attacks you after this attack. That attack does not get a boost card. All right, so he hits us for four. Taking us down to seven. And this goes to the villain with the least threat, which is Pile Driver, and he's going to attack us for base two. He does not get a boost card. Down to five. Okay. We'll use our Avengers Mansion to draw a card. Got a Hulk Smash. It's a shame we're not ready. 
we will spend three resources, put in Monica Chang, and do what we always do, find the surveillance team and we we'll get four counters on it. Uh, we're going to flip down. Monica's going to thwart for one. Our surveillance team's also going to take off one off the breakout. We're ready up. We'll hold on to Hulk Smash. Draw four more cards. Got under surveillance. Banner's Lab. Sky Destroyer. And Unstoppable Force. One threat on the main scheme. One threat. One threat on everything else. Goes to the highest, which is going to be Bulldozer. Bulldozer is going to scheme for one. Two, three. Which will pop this. So this goes through down to three. And we discard top 10 cards of our deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Monica should have one consequential damage on her. All right. Then we get our encounter card. Just gonna this. I believe get us an acceleration icon. Uh, so when revealed, discard the top cards, X cards your deck where X is Bulldozer's attack. Place one threat on Bulldozer's side scheme for each different card type discard this way. So his current attack is four. So discard. Well, we've only got the one card, so Event, but we're going to get another encounter card because of this. So that's going to get one more threat on it. Because it's discard, we don't have to do any more. But we have another encounter card because we decked out. And it's attached to Bulldozer. When you attack, you have to defend with the ally if you, you control Fable. After that, we can discard this card. It's going to give him even more attack. Okay. Gonna use Avengers Mansion to draw a card. For espionage. Going to flip up into Hulk. We're just gonna spend one, two, and three. To attack for 13 with a Hulk Smash onto Bulldozer to take him out. Which leaves us only Pile Driver. Uh, so we will use our surveillance team just to keep this under control. Discard our hand and ready. As long as nothing crazy happens, we'll have the win next turn. Draw four cards. Nick Fury, Field Agent, Crushing Blow, and a movable object. All right, so one threat. But because of the acceleration, we get another threat, so it goes up to three. One threat goes on here. Pole Driver is our only villain. He's going to attack. Monica is going to defend it. 
is coming in for two plus boost the scar to support your control. It's fine, we'll get rid of the mansion. Our encounter card. When revealed, remove each stun accused status card from each villain. If no status cards are removed this way, this card gains surge. So this will surge. When revealed hero, pile driver attacks you. If pile driver is tough, he gets plus two for this activation. It's fine. We will defend this. Not tough, so he's taking us for two plus three, four, four damage. We defend three of it with our defense, so we take one, knocking us down to four. Our turn, we will just use. Oh, Monica should be gone. But we will use a movable object to pay physical resource for a crushing blow, which is deal damage to an enemy equal to your attack. Our attack is three. Pile driver has two health, which defeats pile driver. So, once again, Hulk's strongest one there is. He wrecked the wrecking crew. Uh, puny wrecking crew with no match for Hulk. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this content. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.